beautiful people welcome to my channel i'm beatrice i do homemaking and lifestyle videos here on youtube today i'll be sharing with you 10 tips or 10 habits for a clean and organized home welcome to my channel if you're new please remember to subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back and let's just get it started our point number one we'll just start by waking up early therefore you will be able to save much more time and be able to handle your tasks so well Point number two is to develop a laundry routine. When you have this, definitely, guys, you will be able to handle all your tasks, especially with the laundry. You know, when you have laundry at hand, you will never be frustrated with your house chores. Most of the times I developed my laundry routine, I usually make sure I do laundry like thrice to four times a week. And this, I usually do it at my favorite time. Everybody has a favorite time. If you love waking up early, start doing your laundry and prioritize on doing it the best time that you feel energized. And upon washing your clothes, develop a, a system that you wash, then you later fold them and later arrange them so you're not frustrated with laundry. When you develop this routine, it will never be much of chore. It will be something that you're seeing it's moving, like doing laundry later on, arranging and folding them. It will really, really save you a lot of time and energy and you'll not feel more of a chore in it, yet you'll just feel, you know, you are relieved from the tasks. Point number three, you'll just, uh, you'll just develop a routine. Develop a routine. If you have to go get dinner, do it early. And if you have to handle things, just handle them as quickly as you can. And this will save you much more time. I'm going to get dinner right now. Yeah. That's about it. Our main point on this video is to clean as you go. Whenever you are cooking and you have some time waiting for the food to simmer down or to cook or to boil, guys, please make sure you're utilizing your time because this will ensure that you don't have dirty dishes lying, lying around while you're just seated and waiting for your food to cook. So cleaning as you go is one of the main reasons as to why I created this video. Are you guys, if you develop this routine of doing your dishes as your food is simmering, you will never see dishes as a task as it will just be encouraging you to do more, much, to do more cleaning as you are preparing your food. Before we go to point number five, allow me to introduce one of these fine ladies. Her name is Nyangi. She does cooking, cleaning, and organization videos in her channel. Her videos are full of ASMR sound. They are so relaxing, and I am sure nobody will want to miss these kind of videos. Before we go any further, allow me to show you a clip of her video, and I'm sure you will love it.
I'm sure everybody has loved and enjoyed this Nyangi's video. She does a lot of good videos that will include a lot of S A S A S M R sounds that you will love, and also her videos are so much relaxing. Guys, please remember to subscribe or support Nyangi. It is very very simple. Visit the comment section. I'll pin her channel name and also in the description box. Guys, please remember to go and subscribe to her channel for more relaxing videos, for more content on cleaning and cooking. And guys, I am sure you will love it there. And please support our fellow girl and we will love it to see you there. That I made by myself Oh, and I always do the wrong thing I'm unstable and I'm unsteady I've lost a million times already And I'm so sorry but I'm not able to slow Making sure you also have the cleaning products at hand, it will be it will make it so much easy to do the cleaning as opposed to thinking of the cleaning rather than doing it. Activate your mode whenever you are that active make sure you are doing something and if you are not feeling active Okay, you can just go ahead and relax But whenever I am usually active especially in the afternoons I usually make an effort to do some cleaning and random things that I had to do that were waiting for me to do them and Number six, make sure you allocate space for putting everything in your home, especially when it comes to toys, place them in order and also your spices and everything. Make sure that you place them at their own places so that it won't become a task looking for them around and figuring out where you placed some of your items. Point number seven is to make sure you are doing grocery in advance and also meal prepping. Talking of grocery, it can be hectic every day going to, to the shop to get groceries. But whenever you find time and you are able to look around and go and purchase your products, it is much easier you buy them in advance. Go ahead and wash them and also do a whole meal, pre meal prepping and meal, uh, you know, 
if you do that in advance it will really really save you more time and you'll be able for me like i tried it and it has really really worked a whole difference it has bring a whole difference right now i'm able to do so many stuff because i tend to have more time during the week If you are always overwhelmed with thinking of what to cook today, tomorrow or the next day, I would advise so for anybody who feels like time is always for cooking and everything, make sure you separate a whole day of meal prepping, meal meal planning and doing so, so many things of those because they will end up saving you a lot of time during the week and you'll be able to relax and enjoy it as I'm doing right now. I did a video on meal prepping. You can also go and check it out. You'll be able to find some of the meals that you can also make in advance to save you more time. On point number eight, you should be able to divide some weekly cleaning, daily cleaning and monthly cleaning. Especially for my weekly cleaning, I make sure I wipe up the windows and do all those kinds of outdoor cleaning. Most of the times on my monthly cleaning, I make sure I clean my curtains and do a whole bunch. And for daily cleaning, I usually make sure I pick up things in the living room and that will be it. Number nine, uh, just have a three-minute bathroom cleaning routine, and this you will have. You will have to, you know, separate at least three minutes so that you can tackle your bathroom. Especially for me, whenever I wake up and whenever I just after taking my my coffee uh, break uh, after brushing my teeth and just going to the toilet, the first thing before I even go and settle for the day, I usually make sure I give my toilet a three-minute cleaning, just pouring the detergent washing it and also flushing it and that will make my toilet stay fresh and clean all day and this usually makes you avoid that and that you know it will give you much ample time whenever you'll be cleaning it for weekly you won't have that too much of cleaning to do
our main and last point is to know how to make your own cleaning product. I combine vinegar and water and also a little bit of soap dish and just for the, you know, for good smell, I usually use some lavender essential oil and I mix that in half portion and later on this will be a very useful cleaning product, especially in the kitchen and also you can make this product for the bathroom. You know, it usually removes the stains and also it removes the the crumbs from the soap and all those kinds of stuff so guys know how to make this product because they will save you a lot of money and you'll be able to do much more of cleaning as as opposed to buying cleaning products and also while buying cleaning products make sure you are buying uh, the multi-purpose which you can use on your windows on your counters and every part of your home this will be so much useful to your home and guys i hope you've enjoyed and loved this video i'll just leave you from here and i'll see you on my next video bye bye guys and enjoy your weekend i'll see you next week